Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gear, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. This is part two of the debate over HJ44 about the ATF's pistol brace ban or rule. Part one linked here. This time it's on the House floor instead of the Rules Committee, though you can watch this part without missing out on anything since it's just making fun of political nonsense anyways. And adds an additional bill to make it easier to kill people. Again, how? By shouldering it? Like you sh couldn't shoulder a stock? Wow, I wonder if a shooter could possibly use a stock instead. They can't even argue consistently. Over and over, they repeated the same talking point. All it does is it says that you need to register braces because they are used in a lot of mass shootings. And make stabilizing braces a favorite tool of mass shooters Arm braces have become the attachment of choice for mass shooters in this country. But they aren't the weapon or attachment of choice. Not even close. I think everyone who said this cited examples, but they all cited the same four examples. When they also like to talk about how there are so many mass shootings. There have been, this year, 291 mass shootings. So shootings with braces are maybe once a year, and we are halfway through 2023. So if you take that for six months, that would be 0 0.003 mass shootings with pistol braces. Or since we are halfway through the year, you can double the number of shootings. So that's 0 0.0015 mass shootings done with braces. Not what I would call a favorite. And ask yourself why Republicans oppose background checks on a gun accessory that mass shooters use to kill people. So one, the background checks are not necessary for the accessory. And two, based on that logic, you would have background checks for any accessory someone has on their firearm when they commit a crime. Someone shoots someone with the chainsaw attachment, like out of Gears of War? Well, we need to have a background check before anyone can buy a chainsaw now. You effectively give criminals the ability to choose to outlaw something. Of course, part of the argument against the ATF's rule is that millions of American gun owners who purchased these braces legally have suddenly become felons overnight because a very small percentage of these were registered. The rebuttal to this argument is creative, I guess. He, he keeps on saying that this bill will turn gun owners into automatic felons, that by owning or buying one of these stabilizing braces, American gun owners will, will become felons. That's just not true. And by the way, I should tell the gentleman, someone has to be convicted of a crime in a court to be a felon. He only becomes a felon if he is found guilty of the crimes that he was charged with and is sentenced to a year or more in prison. Okay, so your argument against the point that it turns Americans into felons is that they aren't technically felons, because we haven't convicted them yet. So in the eyes of the law, they're committing a felonious act. They're actively committing felonies. So it's not hyperbole to say they are felons in the eyes of the law, but you're saying they're not felons. They're not locked up yet. That's what we're going to do. Great. But you know what we don't hear? Any empathy, you know, for the families who have lost loved ones to gun violence? Okay, stop standing on the bodies of victims and anointing yourself in their blood for a political talking point. It's sick. No one supports the killings. You just think you can act all high and mighty, promoting government overreach to curb rights that millions use to defend their lives every single year. And that is by no means good. You are a pestilence to freedom, and if all your political desires were law, more innocent people would be dead. You swore an oath to protect. Oh, to protect the Constitution? And to serve your constituents. Oh, you almost had it. You're going to be quicker than that. Oh, oh, that's, that's not the oath, though. And your actions are violating the protecting the Constitution portion of the oath. So you're already forsworn. Assault weapons ban. Keeping those guns, those weapons of mass destruction... So, luckily for them, it went off without a hitch. More pistol braces in the hands of killers 
will cause us to brace for more death. I know you thought that was a good line, like, oh, yeah, it's going to get him, but it's not. It's not like a, a majority of braces are used by killers. Failure. And completely misrepresenting the ATF rule. Want to stop an ATF rule that will require background checks in certain narrow instances when a brace turns a handgun into a rifle. 40 million braced pistols. That's not a narrow instance. And the firearms purchasing process will already have yielded a background check if purchased through an FFL. Guns Gentlemen's are already the seconds. number one killer of children in our country. This is a lie. I have covered plenty. And it's actually the only time they mentioned it this time. But this statistic includes legal adults because CNN was either too lazy or purposefully lying. And they did not filter out adult ages from the CDC statistics, which default to five-year intervals. So you have a few years of adulthood mixed in, and they also discount any infant mortality. And then a Democrat produces a poster which highlights how ridiculous this entire thing is. A matter of inches. That's what she said. <laughs> a few inches turn something that is still overregulated, in my opinion, but regulated as a regular firearm into a firearm subject to extremely strict regulations and additional taxes. There is nothing substantively different between the three firearms, and this graphic is honestly the best visual representation of why this attempt to criminalize braced pistols is such a pointless and pernicious assault on gun rights. I'd say thanks, but then she had to go and speak that we don't need automatic weapons in the hands of civilians. There's no hunting purpose. There's no purpose. I don't care. Vote for the underlying bill. The time has expired. Wait, wait, wait. She supports the bill? Voting for it? Well, never mind then. Welcome to the team. But Republicans will stop at nothing to block the ATF from taking this simple life-saving measure. I mean, it's not simple. It's a 90 plus page rule redefining what is and is not a rifle, but also will not save any lies either. As Republicans continue to seek freedom from gun regulation, we will continue to see communities free from gun violence. It's not even an incorrect et to cut off the last portion of this statement. As Republicans continue to seek freedom uh, while others do not. Oh, goody, she's back. I support a stabilizing brace for disabled Americans and veterans. No, you don't. Because all the braces on the market will be subject to this regulation, not a single example of a brace, and all the examples the ATF specifically showed in this rule would be available without creating an SVR. This is because the ATF is wrong and stupid, but that's how the rule is written. This provision specifically is to deal with when you make it a lethal weapon to be used like an assault weapon to kill people. Any firearm is a lethal weapon that can kill people. Your argument is bad. And you should feel bad. Not your Second Amendment. Who would even think that you could tamper with the Second Amendment? It's in the Bill of Rights. You know what? Good point. This weapon being created to be the kind of dangerous, lethal weapon to kill, Americans will stand up and say, it's not about the Second Amendment, it's about saving lives. Oh, so you would tamper with the Second Amendment. The answer to your question is yourself. Over the years, we've seen the gun industry circumvent existing laws uh, by developing new and advanced accessories to increase the power and lethal capabilities of certain firearms from bump stocks to auto sears to pistol braces hold up you think an auto sear is a simple accessory you can go out and purchase i mean if only every time every precious life was taken with the help of one of these accessories I'm not aware of a single time an auto seer was used in a mass shooting, and most of the time the other accessories you mentioned are not used either. Mr. Speaker, Republicans have claimed this rule affects forearm braces. It does not. 
If a disabled veteran needs a forearm brace to shoot a pistol, he or she can still get one without registering it. Uh, you're an idiot. This is the next day, and still no one has told him that <laughs> under this rule, there's no such thing as a forearm brace. There's legally no distinction, no difference. What are you saying? We have heard the majority claim over and over that this rule is going to come as a surprise to the gun industry and to those who have purchased stabilizing braces. This is simply not true. There are dozens of videos online of people promoting the use of braces. There are dozens of us. Dozens! And this take is also extremely bad. Viewers of this channel are aware of the rule. People plugged into the internet and gun culture are aware of it. But the average gun owner who bought one years ago because it was at a shop or a gun show, who does not live online, who doesn't really follow the news, who is just a normal person who owns a firearm and not deep into the hobby, has no idea this changed because bureaucrats changed the rules in the middle of the game. The ATF decided that they were wrong and these were always SBRs, therefore everyone is a felon. Oh, I'm sorry, not, not felons, just in the midst of felonies, felonious activities, and will be convicted if caught, thus becoming felons. I gotcha, bud. That's all for today. This video involved sitting through hours of idiots talking, so please share the video, like it, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget our Discord is now public, so feel free to join there. I also have a Patreon where you can support me as well. I have other videos like this on my channel, so check those out as well for some more entertainment or depression. Either way, thanks for watching.